VK3HN here and I'm just trying out two shuttle tuning digital Arduino controlled DDS VFO scripts. Uh, this is the target board, so it's an Arduino Nano with an Adafruit SI5351 extension board, uh, 5 volt logic and uh, not much else and the display is um, is a two line LCD display. These are the two scripts I'm going to try. The one on the right is a shuttle tuned VFO for um, BitX40 Arduino by Don Cantrell November Delta 6 Tango. Really short simple script um, just as the absolute minimum. And the one on the left is the uh, control LCD script or the main VFO script for Asher Farhan's new micro bitex. So we'll run Don's script first. This is the basic shuttle tuning script. So uh, at the top we've got the usual frequency display and an eye which means that the shuttle tuning position is, is at rest. Um, the F and the R uh, values on the second row, they're for a um, forward and reverse reading VSWR meter which is in the script but which I haven't connected up. So it's um, very simple, if I swing the potentiometer left then I start descending and the further left I go I go right down to the bandage. So I'll just bring it back and we start uh, there we've hit the middle, so I've hit the middle. So when we hit the middle the um, left arrow changes to a an I, meaning we're in the, in the middle part and then if I if I um, turn the pot right of centre it starts swinging up through the band at a rapid rate at the far extreme of the travel to the top end of the band. So I'll take it back down. So I'll try and find 7125. So let's see how easy it is to do this. So 7125. So, whoops, I've. So I need to go. I need to go up to 7125 and um, backing it off now. And as soon as I hit 7125, I just rotate it into the middle and there's the eye indicating that this, the tuner is at rest. So now for Farhan script. So now frequency across the top as usual. There are multiple VFOs and this looks like Farhan's S meter on the bottom. Now this is a different mechanism so if I just swing it off the center it just acts like a tuning pot. It's like I think of it as an RIT so there we are we're going down a few kilohertz so let's try and find 7120 7, but it only changes frequency as I bump the pot. So as soon as I stop, now I've gone too far, so I'll just bump it right again. Um, so as long as you are moving, so let's go up to 7135, so I'm swinging the pot right now and I'm just, it's just responding as I am turning it. As soon as I stop, take my hand off, the VFO stops. So it's like tuning an RIT. So there it is, I've gone a little bit too far, so I'll just bring it back forward, 7135. It's tuning in 50 kilohertz steps, 7135. There it is, um, yeah, there it is, 7135. If you want to make the thing really move, you swing it hard right, and then it does its, um, it does its run. So now hands off the hands off the control and it's running up the band. Similarly, 
um, swing it, swing the pot the other way, hard left, and it's running down the bend. So I'll try and stop it at 7090. Um, let it run down to 7090. Okay, so it's I, I swung it too hard. So now I'm just using it like a like an RIT, and there it is, 7090. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Um, of course, Farhan has a push button which I haven't wired up yet, which allows you to um, move through large frequency steps. So. Um, uh, two interesting variants on tuning control. Of course, the advantage is that your tuning control is a garden variety of 1K ohm pot, and you don't need um, more expensive optical encoders. So, uh, the future, perhaps.